Hi everyone, this is Samaria and today is our Thursday check-in. Are you ready? I am. <laughs> uh, I do encourage you for those who have not. Last session I talked about the difference between your purpose and your assignment and do's and don'ts to your assignment. I do encourage you if you have not, I'll go over that. Um, you should be able to find it um, and look over that because today is going to be to build on what we talked about today we're going to talk about keys to manifesting your purpose and again um, before you uh, manifest your vision excuse me make sure you're clear make sure you are clear about what you're working on and your specific purpose okay um the next thing i want you to do is this is very this is key okay this is back to school time i want you to go to walmart get you a three ring binder Within that three ring binder, I also want you to get some plastic page sheets, okay? Then I want you to go home. I want you to open up your Word document, or if you want to get real fancy, Microsoft Publisher, you don't have to do all that, or Excel. I do, I just did Word, okay? And I want you to create your organizational structure. Now, I know some of y'all are already in business, some of y'all are, are in ministry, and you're, or some of us, some of y'all are not. So I want you to be clear about this. Write out your the name of your business, your ministry, whatever it is, and then that's on the front page or you know your cover. Second page, put your mission statement and the vision, but you don't put it as if it what will be. Put it as if it is now. So Samarium Cobra's vision for X, Y, and Z. I'm not gonna put as it future dates. This is what we are doing now. It was established in X, Y, and Z date. The purpose of our business is you understand what I'm saying. So put it in present tense terms. Okay. Always for your business or your ministry, have an organizational structure. Now, I don't have time to teach people on organizational structures. Go to YouTube, uh, Google, and Google organizational structure. So the organizational structure is basically how the business or the ministry is run. Okay, you put your, your key team members. Again, even if you're one person show and it's just in your head, still put that there. Um, for me and my business, I'm a small business owner. I have where I am now and I have an organizational structure for that. And I also have my five to 10 year plan of where we are going. So as I grow, I already have a plan in place for when I grow. I need to add more and more people to my organizational structure, okay? So make sure you have that. And again, Google and find out all that. Make sure you have that already in place. If you are someone that's doing ministry and you're coming from up under someone else's ministry, your organizational structure may look more like the people that you are, that have that cover you. You understand what I'm saying? But for me, because I'm in private practice, I have an organizational structure that's consistent with being in a therapist in private practice. Okay, so it's not going to be hard. Some some of them can be complex. Uh, most of them, when you're starting off, are going to be very simple. Okay, so what is your mission statement? Also, in that organizational structure, put where the money comes from. Because I'm in, in a therapist and I do accept insurance, I have a copy of my reimbursement rates from the different insurance companies. But also, uh, I have a tab that just says, you know, speaking engagements, uh, world from books. I don't put an exact amount because I don't want to limit myself, but one of my streams for income is through royalties, okay? So even if, again, if you don't have any of that in place, like physically, still put where you're going. So if you want to write books, put royalties, <laughs> even if you haven't even written your book yet, you understand what I'm saying? Where does the money come from? Um, and then different contracts. If you do speaking contracts, if you do coaching contracts, uh, again, for me, I do insurance contracts. So whatever kind of contracts that you have, even if you don't have one, print out a sample contract, okay? Um, because what happens is the more you're clear about your vision, God will send people in your direction, okay, to help you fulfill that vision and you will help them to fulfill their vision. Also, you never know who you're going to meet. Um, I actually had a meeting a few months ago and I actually took my binder <laughs> to the meeting. And so when they were asking me about my business, I had to scramble at the last minute to try to figure things out. I was like, bam, this is Samaria M. Cover. This is, how, this is my business. This is what this person is. I also have the individual tasks that people have to, that will come along, have to, have to do. Like my administrative assistant, I already had that tab. Um, my business manager, I already have <laughs> that information and I sent that to her. Um, but this is what's going on, okay? Um, make sure that you are very clear about that. And again, I know I'm saying this over again, but you do not have to have it already in place. You have to be clear about where you're going. And God will make sure that things begin to fall into place. And that is my testimony. I'm not bragging. I'm telling you guys, things are falling into place.
things are growing and going. And and I and the Lord's put it on my heart to begin to do this. Now I've always had journals. So most of you guys that I'm hearing this have journals, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we gotta take it to the next level, make it professional, give you a binder, something. Now, of course, I had mine on my computer, but I printed it out and I put it on that binder. It says right in my office in the corner somewhere. And it helps me too because I do have to refer back to it. Speaking engagements, flyers, I print them out in color and I always put one in, in one of my binders, okay? It's really, really good. Okay, so be clear about that. Make sure you do that. It's a fun project. Come on, y'all. It's back to school time. You get this stuff cheap. <laughs> How much is a binder anyway, right? Have a plan of action every week. Uh, get you a uh, scheduler. Now, for me, every year, it's my tradition. I always have a, 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 a scheduler. What do you call them things? Planner. That's what they call <laughs> planner i have a planner and at the beginning of the year i already know what i'm working towards even in that year every day i have a plan i don't write it out most of the time the daily stuff is in my head unless i have multiple things i have to do but every day i have a plan but every week i used to put it in my planner this is what i have to do this is what i have to do this is what i have to do now some things come up like i get referrals for clients and stuff like that to verify insurances so there are things that come up so i have to make sure i write it out at least that week so i will remember that this is what i'm working towards okay um and so have a plan for every week because what happens if you don't have a plan you get stuck in the monotony of the day right and it feels good at the end of the week to be able to say gosh it was a really long week but i i did this or i did that even if it's nothing more than uh reading a book or uh attending a training or going to youtube or so i did youtube a lot when i was trying to figure out how to start my own private practice it felt so good to hear testimonies from other people who are doing the specific vision in the in the business that i am doing and they gave great advice great advice okay um so be persistent and be persistent, okay? Be consistent and uh, persistent. So persistence means to be able to continue on despite opposition and obstacle. The enemy, the devil, does not want you to f fulfill your purpose, okay? And you will experience difficulty and things that want to set you back and make you feel like, you know what? <laughs> Why? Be persistent. God sees your persistency. God sees that. And be diligent. Diligent is a rigorous and habitual, repeated action. It's, again, habitual, repeated action. Action is the word here. A vision with no action is a wish. I just wish it happened. I hope it happened. I don't know. But you have to be persistent. Faith without works is dead. Again, a vision without action. Action is just a wish, and you ain't never gonna get to no wish. I wish upon a star. Wishes only come to pass in fairy tales, not in real life. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, and lastly, be your own coach. Be your own coach. Sometimes people think you're nice and you have a good dream, but they don't necessarily take you serious. When I first wrote my first book, it was probably crap. <laughs> it was full of typos. It had a crappy cover. Okay. Um. And no one really took me seriously. They're like, oh, that's so sweet. She's so nice. She's trying to do a little something. Now that I have done all this other stuff, and again, I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you, I've done all this other stuff. I've written lots of books now. People are like, even if they don't necessarily support me, some people do, but some people don't. They just say they do. But anyway, even if they don't necessarily support me, they take me serious. Because now I'm starting to see successes in what I'm doing. And now my stuff is starting to be really, really, really good. And this has been over years of being persistent and consistent. Persistent. I mean, just keep doing it over and over and over again. Now I'm starting to fall in place. Now I don't really care if people take me seriously or not. I don't. I, I promise you I really don't. But um, it, the point is that you have to take yourself serious. And you have to be your own coach long before anyone else will. Last thing I'll teach you is that... Um, get as much training as you possibly can. One of the things I did, particularly this year, is I started um, attending like the small business center. Uh, absolutely great. When I first uh, went there, I was like, I don't know if I really want to be here because I already have a really good solid business. I have a plan. I know where I'm going. And some people was like, just go, just go. And I promise you, there are certain things that I didn't know. Like you don't know what you don't know. Like I didn't know social media. I don't really care about social media. So that's not really my thing. But other things that I really 
intricate as a part of my business that it's not my thing. My thing is counseling people. Like I don't do social media, right? But it has helped me tremendously and it saved me a lot of money because some of the stuff I need to do, I had to pay and I got this information for a free child, free. So if you're in the United States, most, um, most places, your community college have a small business center and they offer a lot of free classes. Most of them now, I can't say all of them, but most of them. So make sure you are consistent and, uh, and attend trainings. Find some free trainings, okay? Read some books. Do something, okay? <laughs> but be persistent. God bless you. Have a wonderful Thursday. Bye.